Hi, this is Danielle with Blue Moon Estate Sales coming to you from Montgomery where this week we have just an amazing house. You are not going to believe how much good stuff is packed into this house. The sale is going to be Friday and Saturday from 9 to 2, both days. That's June 16 and 17. So let's step inside and I will show you around. So there is so much to look at in this house. I mean, just right when you come in, even behind the door, you can see all the artwork on the wall, little side table, and then this is one of two grandfather father clocks in the house. This gorgeous stained glass was actually hanging up above the window, but we pulled it down and it's just beautiful when the light shines through it. We have two Windberg framed prints. This is the office in the front. So I'll step back a little bit so you can see. We've got some si a side table, a desk, a little love seat, and then a side chair. This is the bookshelf. This is actually two bookshelves put together, so they're priced separately. And there's such neat items on this bookshelf. Look at these bookends. Really unique items here. We have an antique phone. And then, like I said, the love seat. And then on the wall, we have a clock. This is two of three of these wooden filing cabinets. Shredder, printer, monitor. Really nice desk chair. This is the third filing cabinet. And then this little side table, look at it's not nice and skinny, narrow, and then look at the detail on the bottom, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's walk into the main area. We're gonna hit the kitchen first. I wanna show you this also, a little side table. Have this antique stool. This is the one that has the um, little steps that pull out. And then in the kitchen, look at all of this. And you, I'm gonna walk around so you can see everything. So first up is this dish set. This is classic rose. It's from Germany. It has all the pieces. And look at the scallops on the bottom of it. It is beautiful. And not only does it have all the cups and the dinner plates and the salad plates and the bowls, but there are also serving pieces. Cream and sugar, casserole. There's all different pieces that go with it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous set. As we move our way down up on the shelf here, we have some milk glass. And then you'll see these red dishes. These are actually Fitz and Floyd. This is the Fitz and Floyd dish set. You got the bowls, the mugs. That's a serving casserole. The plates, look at these plates. These are just beautiful. These are more of a stoneware, Fitz and Floyd. It's the town and country, and these are dishwasher and microwave safe. So these can be everyday dishes, but we've got the bowls, we've got the you know dinner plates, serving platter, and I just love the pattern of this. So over here, we have these vintage and or antique etched glasses in many different sizes. These are called Rose Point. You can see you have the ones with the tall stem, different sizes. We have this set of Linux China. So this is a bone China color and then it's got the metallic on the edge. We have lots of blue flower corningware. Some really nice pots and pans, including a cast iron, and then in keeping with the red kind of theme, these red dishes. K 
KitchenAid mixer. Some more little dishes. These are little cast iron, little mini bowls. A lot of people use those as for pinch pots and stuff. And then here is where we have just a huge collection of the, I believe this is Cabbage Rose depression glass. And I mean, we have canisters with lids, we have candy dishes, we have cups, teacups and plates, cake serving plates, bowls, sherbet cups, dessert cups, all kinds of cups, decanter with little bitty cups, divided serving dish, big bowls, tea glasses, water glasses, sherbet glasses, dessert cups. And then these are all the plates. I honestly have never seen this much of this color depression glass in one place at one time. Look at all those pictures. And they are all in perfect condition. They're just beautiful. Let me stand back so you can just see the magnitude of that. Okay, on the floor here is where we have a lot of different small utensils. And then in the pantry, lots of cooking supplies in here as well. Several different canisters, bowls, jars. Just when I say this house is full, that is really an understatement. So let's go over here. I'll show you the back side of the island. You see we have these three um, stools. We're tan with the cushions. Here is another piece of that Fitz and Floyd. Here's more pieces you can see from the front. And then we have a lot of milk glass. These milk glass, like tea glasses, serving bowl, pitcher. More of this. Over here in the corner is where we start to have all of our crystal. This is another beautiful clock in this house. And then tons and tons of crystal. So if you like crystal, this is a good house for you. Look at all those crystal candlestick holders. If you have a wedding coming up or a quinceanera or some kind of a, a event where you have to decorate a table, these would be perfect for that all different shapes and sizes. People like to mix and match nowadays. So you can just see the length of this table and all the crystal. I'm gonna point out a couple pieces. This is a Fenton, Fenton amethyst. This is the Le Smith Abernina. And then we have the vintage Indian gla Indiana glass. This is the sunset red. Really beautiful pieces and they're quite unique as well. These uh, antique cookie jars. And then more crystal. Big crystal salt and pepper shakers, cake plates, pitchers, bowls, glasses, all kinds of serveware. And then we have a few more milk glass pieces up here. And more crystal. Another piece of artwork. So as I turn around, I will show you the dining table. So this is the table. There are six chairs. There is one actually in the other room that I think we're using right now. Crystal punch bowl with all the cups hanging. This is so cute, this little basket with the apples. And then behind me, there is a sofa table. And then this is the bottom to an antique sewing machine that then has been repurposed into a table with a granite top. Such a unique piece. Behind me is a hutch. This is where a lot of this stuff came from. <laughs> it was packed full. And then this piece I love, this is an antique armoire dresser, but look at the curved glass on this. And it's not damaged or cracked or broken. It's very unusual to find these pieces with the curved glass intact. You can see the drawers, really nice piece. So I'm gonna turn around, this is our living room. 
We have a side table, a couple wing back chairs, some nesting tables, couch, this cute little carved wood chest. You see we have lots of collectibles in this house. This is some Jim Shore, little quilting girl. I'm gonna get to the quilting room in a minute. It's gonna blow your mind. And then we have Hummels. We have the large size Hummels and the regular size Hummels. This one is beautiful with the four little girls. We have a flat screen TV. And then this is grandfather clock number two over here in the corner. As we head into the bedroom, you'll see this nice lawyer's cabinet. The lawyer's cabinets are the ones where they pull up from the bottom with the glass. In this closet, we have lots of more baking stuff and kitchen stuff because we just ran out of room. And then this is bedroom number one. This is the master. This is a king size bed with an upholstered headboard, black and white uh, quilt. This is a lane cedar chest at the end of it. And this glider and then lots of linens. Some more collectibles. This piece in the corner is really neat. It's got the carving. It's a tall, skinny piece, and then it opens up. If I can get it. And then it's like an armoire, clothes armoire, but it's a little thin one that fits in a lot of good places, and I love the detail of the carving on it. We have a few dolls and then this tall dresser and then a long dresser. This is more mid-century style. Again, some more collectibles over here. Some willow tree and some of the red hat lady. Another mounted TV. And then in the bathroom, we got all kinds of good bathroom stuff. A small little fur wrap, Canadian Fur Company. Take a step back so you can see that a little better. There you go. And then a closet full of clothes. And purses and shoes. Okay, as we walk down the hall to head to the sewing quilting room, we see this pantry and this has a lot of our small appliances. You see a little toaster oven, um, toaster, this uh, vintage cake carrier might actually be antique. Just lots of little small appliances. This I know is an antique piece. Okay, so let's head into the crafting sewing room. We have these large bolts of fabric actually here outside the door. And this room is also packed. There is so much in here. Um, we have this stack of self-healing mats and then more bolts of fabric here. And as you first walk in, I'll just kind of pan the room. So we have a sewing cabinet and then several sewing machines. That is a drop leaf crafting table, two sewing machines, antique. These alpha shelving units are all for sale as well. There's actually three individuals. It's got a piece of wood on top and they are full of fabric. I will pull those out to show you. This is, oh, this is the other chair from the dining room that we were using, we worked in here. And then this is all of the table with there's lots of notions here. There are several um, starter toppers that have been started and then more fabric on the bottom. And then in the closet, we got lots of books and more notions and stuff. So first let's, um, let's take a closer look at these cabinets. So this is a thread, you store thread in here, JP coats. This is very vintage. I don't know why this is here. And then this is an antique piece, a little sewing cabinet. 
Look at the hardware on that and the carving. It's beautiful. We have one Singer sewing machine here. The case. This is a PATH more modern sewing machine. This one is another Singer. This is the machine that is so sought after. And you can see what great condition it is in. The metal and everything is just beautiful. This comes with the table. Also has a box of accessories and the pedal. And then there's another box of accessories down here. In there. This sewing cabinet has a PATH 230. This is also a very vintage machine. Also the metal components, not plastic. And then also has the sewing cabinet that comes with it. The stool we have priced separately. And then in here, up on top, we have several kits. So these are already, you know, kind of put together different fabrics, some different kits um, of you know, table runners, all different stuff up here. We have some notions. We have lots of jelly rolls. Most of these are Moda. We have these packs. These packs, these are brand new. We have uh, this is for a cuddle minky strip blanket. This is the animal print. Lots of charm packs. Look at all these charm packs. Many, many, many of these. And then we have lots of fat quarter bundles. Behind these wood thread holders are lots of templates for making quilts, all different sizes and shapes of templates. And then in the drawers, we have packaged fabrics and you know we've tried to kind of put the colors together there is so many and such nice look at the cowboy boots all of these drawers are just stacked full this is a huge kit with all kinds of plaids and the pattern actually comes with it. This is a set of Amish fabric from an Amish farm. It's got fat quarters and it's got yard cuts. And then we have like these tie dye packs. This is a beautiful, I love this as an apron kit. So it makes two aprons. And this is the pattern for it. It's a lime ricky pattern. And then this is a quilt. Quilt, look at that rose. Oh, I love this. And then it even has the backing fabric too, which is this piece right here and the pattern. Lots of threads, bundles of bags of thread. And then on this side, these are all of our multis, kind of florals, you can see. You know, they're all coordinated because she had this all sorted like that. So that's how we kept it. Cheetah, this animal, we have two of these. Butterflies, lots of colors. This is the batik fabric. More cowboys, western, lots of black and white. And the reds. Lots of reds, these reds to kind of go with our dishes. She loved the red colors. Blues, more blues, purples, and then we have the pinks. That one's empty. And then over here, we have, those are mostly fat quarters bundled together. And then over here, we have the larger pieces. This is yardage in these drawers. So lots of, there's so many in here, lots of yardage. 
just, I mean, if you like to sew or quilt, I love this. This is tulips. This is actually three yards, too, of this fabric. Brand new. There's some moda. All the whites. Minky. And then this is all the, like, the warm and natural and lots of batting. Up here is more kits. I love the bunnies. The colorful. This is a five-yard quilt kit. It's got little party balloons and stuff on it. This is another juvenile child one with Paddington Bear. And then this one I love with the reds. It's almost like a maroon. More patterns. These are toppers that were started. And these are notions, all kinds of scissors and roller, these rolling cutters. I mean, there's just so much. Patterns, more of the triangles and the squares for cutting, more self-healing mats, and then bins of even more fabric. This box has a large self-healing mat. This is how tall this is. It's a huge mat in here. Interfacing and batting, tons of books and magazines, and then more notions and iron. We loved the little wiener dog pattern and goes with the little wiener dog that was made. Let's see if I get that back up there. There we go. Bundles of notions. This is a serger. It's a baby lock serger. A little travel bag, travel organizer. Again, this room is just loaded. We are gonna have to limit how many people can come in here at one time because it's just so tight. So please come early and be gracious with us, with the crowds. Now this is the last bedroom that we have. So you can see this four poster bed. There's a few quilts that are for sale. And there's actually a closet full of quilts for sale over here. Some vintage and antique games. Large baskets. Little kid's high chair. I love this little round moon shaped table. And then as I turn around, you'll see a dresser with mirror. These crystal lamps side chair, corner rack, and side table. All right, as we head out to the garage, we're gonna stop here quickly in the laundry room. The washer and dryer are not for sale, but everything on top of it is for sale. We head out into the garage and you can see it is just as full as the house. This is our collection of Precious Moments. There is a lot of Precious Moments. There is the Nativity set. This is the regular size. And then we actually have the large jumbo size. You can see the difference. I believe these are the nine inch. Lots of ornaments. I'm just gonna kind of pan through. Lots of clowns, large clown collection. We have the Seasons Girls. Let's see. They're in the boxes. And we do have almost all of the boxes, if not all the boxes, are underneath the table. So when you come and buy some of these, make sure you grab your box to match it. Those are the boxes. <clears throat> we have a standing upright freezer. This is another base for an antique sewing machine, like the one in the living room where they put the top, the granite top on it. So this is the base, and she could do that. Over here is where we have some electronics, another cabinet, some light bulbs and lanterns and cleaning supplies. The big metal shelves are not for sale. Many Christmas trees, several Christmas trees. And then we have these Christmas village houses. Lots of Christmas village houses. 
one of these little German, I don't know what you call those, it just slipped my mind, those little spindles that turn. More Christmas, there's Christmas ribbons and garlands and, uh, you know, ornaments and stuff on the ground and the buckets. And then here's some more Christmas items. Here's that little more houses. Lots of cookbooks. Lots of book books. This is some garden stuff. Baskets. Another little Christmas tree. Lots of stuff out here. So there are even things outside here on the back patio. You can see where we're going to have to limit how many people can come into the house at one time because it is so full. So please be patient. There's a lot of artwork out here. Some folding chairs. Lots of plastic, you know, rubber maids and Tupperwares and stuff like that. Some suitcases. It's a variety of things. So again, our sale is going to be Friday and Saturday from 9 to 2 both days, June 16 and 17. We are up here in Montgomery, and the address will be live Thursday morning.